And there's no sugarcoating it. The U.N. report says at this point we are not able to stop global warming for at least 30 years. Essentially, a hotter future is already locked in. Climate change should no longer be a debate. Yes, the Earth naturally goes through its own climate changes all the time, but study after study, season after season, the world is seeing the increase in intensity heightened due to our actions and lack thereof. But that's why I'm here. Hey everyone, Dewey Stewart here, and today I'm taking you all with me once again on the climate change train. It's solar run, so don't worry. Anyway, today we are looking at the top 10 scary things that will happen in the next 50 years with climate change, part two. Warning, some of these things are a little intense, but that's okay. Let's just talk about it and spark discussions and actions that can create change for a healthier earth for you and for me. So let's get to it. Starting us off at number 10 is home damages. Remember in the first video when I talked about more and more extreme weather coming our way? Well, one of the after effects of that is floods, but extreme weather can also tear apart your home, such as tornadoes, earthquakes, hurricanes, literally anything. With more and more of this extreme weather coming our way, it will be a guarantee that the more storms we have, the more damage that will be done. A 2018 study found that over 40 million Americans are at a risk of flooding due to living close to rivers and other waterways. Adam Sobel is the founding director of Columbia University's Initiative on Extreme Weather and Climate. He said that drought and wildfires are also on the rise. 13 states on the west coast are susceptible to these wildfires. 775,654 homes are at a risk of being taken over by these wildfires and extreme weather conditions as well. So other than the obvious, what other damages can occur based off these extreme weathers? Damage to your wallet. That's right, coming in at number 9 is home insurance increase. Due to all the damages that are happening to people's homes all over the world, but especially North America, many insurance companies are raising premiums to offset their costs for paying out money to all of their clients impacted by natural disasters. It is reported that home insurance increased by 50% between 2005 and 2015. In Connecticut, homeowners insurance rates have increased 35% in the last 10 years, and for homeowners along the coast, their rates have gone up by 50%. In 2016, California insurance companies denied renewal of 10,000 policies for homes in the high risk areas. So if you're looking to move anytime soon, factor in where you are looking to move as well as what the insurance costs could be for where you are. Factor in literally everything because it's about to get even pricier. Coming in at number 8, we have an increase in hydro bills and blackouts. That's right, with more extreme weather on top of our insurance bills, you will see a rise in the hydro bill as well. Extreme weather will lead to harsher winters and harsher summers, leading to more and more in need of heat and air conditioning. With more and more of us needing more power for our own homes, this can lead to overtaxing our electrical grids, triggering more brownouts and blackouts. Between the mid-1980s and 2012, it is reported that blackouts increased tenfold. 80% were due to weather conditions. With more and more wildfires, especially in California, Pacific Gas and Electric have been preemptively shutting down power to avoid sparking wildfires from the dry and windy conditions. But keep those wallets open because your bills still aren't paid. Coming in at number 7, we have rising taxes. Municipalities are acknowledging and recognizing the changes that need to be made in the wake of the climate crisis. With more seawalls being made, hardening infrastructures and other projects that need to be done to protect our homes from climate change. The government and municipalities will be asking for more of your money to help fund it. In 2018 in Norfolk, Virginia, which is of course surrounded by water and vulnerable to sea levels rising, the city approved a 10 cent increase to their real estate tax. The extra money went towards citywide resiliency plans to address flooding. Marin County in California proposed a 10 cent increase per square foot parcel tax on property owners, so they could have more funds to fight and prevent the wildfires. Of course, this is what our politicians and leaders will say, but let's continue to hold them accountable for where our money goes and for what changes we want to see. Climate change. But once again, keep that wallet out because you still haven't paid enough. Coming in at number six, we have rising food prices. Over the last 20 years, prices in food have risen 2.6%, and the USDA predicts that prices will only continue to increase. Now, there are several reasons for food price increases, but one major factor is definitely climate change. Extreme weather can impact livestock and crops all around the world, and with harder to get acceptable products and the more work for the farmers, that means the more expensive the product will become. New York apple farmers are experiencing warmer winters and other extreme weathers that can wipe out harvests completely. So they try and save the apples with new and high-tech irrigation systems. But in order to pay for that, those farmers will now have to charge more for that sweet, sweet fruit. And they're in high demand because don't forget, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Sorry doc, apples and other foods all around the world will continue to experience a rise in price. So when we fight for climate change, we can also fight for our wallets. Anyway, put away your wallet for now as we have taken enough money from you, but just remember, climate change takes away a 
lot more than just your money. Coming in at our halfway point at number five is poor water quality. With heavy rainstorms and more extreme weathers on the way, this could lead to more and more water contamination. Runoff pollutants can flow into our rivers, sewers, and other waterways, increasing the amount of pollution to our clean waters. With more and more chemicals being used, they can also get into our water as well as that can lead to a major increase in disease. Diseases such as Legionnaire's disease, cholera, and skin infections. Water is one of our most basic human needs, and I don't think I need to stress how important it is to have clean water for ourselves, so let's keep an eye out for our waters, shall we? At number four, we have travel disruptions. How? Well, with more heat, that could lead to high temperatures that would make it impossible for planes to actually fly. Hotter air is less dense, so planes will get less lift under their wings and engines produce less power. Airlines will have to lessen their load by accepting fewer passengers and fewer pieces of luggage on board too. Airports could also see disruptions to flooding and other crazy occurrences, but on a most basic level, planes can't fly through hurricanes, nor can they fly through tornadoes. Turbulence is bound to happen once you're up in the air, but the plane obviously still needs to fly safely. So let's make some change or forget those travel plans. Starting us off in our top three at number three is forced migration. This one might be an obvious one, but with all the flooding off the coastal cities that I have talked about before, that means more and more people will be displaced and will be forced to move out and away from their homes. This is something that is seen all over the world and now could happen more and more in North America. With more and more migrating, that means more and more people will call the safe zones home, which could lead to overpopulation and even more negative effects from there. When we fight for climate change, we literally fight for our homes. At number two, we have the Amazon to the Sahara. Okay, so this one is very specific in the title, but let me tell you, after the crazy Amazon wildfires of last year and the crazy wildfires all around the world that are happening now, this means we could see entire forests, rainforests, and lush areas turn into absolute deserts. With more and more dry heat, that makes the blazes rage on and on. It also becomes increasingly difficult to fight these fires when they are in harder to reach places like the Amazon. Not exactly the easiest place to make a 911 call and have a firefighter show up, right? Even if they did, the resources needed to fight such huge fires are enormous and they're all gonna need our help. And finally, coming in super hot at number one is too hot for humans. By 2070, it is reported that over three billion people will find themselves in an area of the world that is too hot for humans to survive. Temperatures have been quite hot in Toronto recently and I couldn't imagine them getting any hotter. LA and Paris could bake in fiery desert temperatures and the world's most populated cities in Asia and Africa could see some of the most deadly heat waves ever recorded. Tim Linton, the director of the Global Systems Institute at the University of Exeter says, it will be quite the climate shock. We're going back to temperatures that we haven't seen in 5 million years. Territory that predates the divergence of humans from apes. That is indeed worrisome. There you have it, that has been our part two list today. Folks, once again, I know just how scary all of this is. Let's not pretend that it isn't, but just remember that it isn't too late and we can still create small, big, and everlasting change right now. Like I've also been saying, we don't need to be perfect. We just need to do what we can and work together. Work together, please. Anyway, let me know what you're doing to help stop climate change down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all back here very soon. Until next time, take care of yourself friends.